I'll be showing 11 new features in Teams for Education. This includes flip video assignment integration and screen recording, classwork AI, PDF text editing, quizzing updates, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is easy access to learning accelerators. So I'm here in assignments as an educator, and down at the bottom, I will click on create, and there's this new option, learning accelerators, right here on the create button. And you can access the four learning accelerators that we have. Reading progress, search progress, math progress, which is in private preview, and then our newest one, speaker progress, which is fully rolled out globally, and in the upper right, there's a link for a deep dive demo on how to use speaker progress. It used to be that you have to go into assignments like this to create the learning accelerators, and it was a little bit hidden. There's this still learning accelerators button, and those four choices are there. But as you can see now, I just click create, and learning accelerators is really easy. So if I want to start speaker progress, now I have easy access directly. The second new feature is using AI to create classwork modules. I'm an educator here, and I'm gonna to switch to classwork to create some content and curricula for my class. Down at the bottom, I'll click add module. And there's a new option, module ideas using AI. I'll choose this. Now very simple format, I'm gonna give it a subject. Chemistry, I'll choose the grade level. I can go everywhere from kindergarten all the way up to university, grade eight, grade nine. I'll choose grade nine. And then what language would you like this in? We have many different options. And then I'll click next. Now, what do you want students to know or be able to know upon completing the class? So I'm gonna add this right here, I'm gonna paste. And by the end of the semester, students will have an intro to chemistry, etc. Give some details. Also, just for fun, please add an emoji at the beginning of each module name that reflects the module content. Then you can choose how many modules do you want. So I can go up and down, we'll make this seven. And now I'll choose draft modules in the lower right. Okay, AI is gonna draft up some modules for me. All right, here we go. I have my different modules. Looks like there's seven of them. There's an emoji in front of each one, which makes it kind of fun. Now what's nice is I can modify these, I can regenerate. Also right here, I can go in directly to each module. So let's say I wanna go into intro to chemistry and choose edit. I can go and change this right here. I can choose adjust, so I can make bulleted list instead of a paragraph. I can make it more concise versus expanded. I could regenerate right here. And you can do that with any module. And I'm gonna show a different way to regenerate all of them. So this is the one by one way. I just click on the little edit pencil here. But I'm gonna go up to modify modules and you get the same options, but this is across all of them. So I will choose bolded list and I'm gonna make it more concise. And then I'll choose to update all the modules. Okay, here we go. Look at that, now it's more concise just in a bolded list. I've got all my seven modules ready to go. Also, you can say, hey, did I like this or not? Was that good creation with AI or bad? This gives us great feedback for the team. So give it a thumbs up or down if you want. And then I'm gonna go at the bottom right and say add draft modules. And there we go, it's getting them ready. And there we are, the seven modules for my chemistry classwork set ready to go. The third new feature is flip video recording integration into Teams assignments. So an educator here has made an assignment for their student and they want them to record their summer reading book report using video. I'll open this assignment and now as a student, I can go new and you're gonna see this option flip video recording. We have the flip camera fully integrated into Teams assignments. So I will click flip video recording as a student Hey, here's my video camera, and you can see all the same capabilities as Flip. I've got my backgrounds, I can change my camera or my microphone. We've recently added back teleprompter, so the full teleprompter view is right here. So if the student wants to add their script for teleprompter, all the same features that have been in the Flip video camera. And we also rolled out the screen recording. So if the student wants to record their screen, they can load this up, select a screen to record. You've got the edge tab, the window, or the entire screen just like the flip video has had in the past, sharing the audio tab. So all those same capabilities are right here inside of Teams Assignments. And all the other options you have, like changing the backdrop, changing just to audio mode only. So all those things are rolled out, even things like the stickers, the boards, and the frames. On the educator side, it's the same thing. So I'm signed in as the educator. If I hit new, I can also choose flip video recording and I can attach a flip video to the assignment that I'm pushing out to my students. 
The fourth new feature, and I mentioned it briefly just now with the Flip video, is that we've added screen recording to all video capabilities inside of Teams for Education. I'm signed in as the educator, and if I go to New, and I choose Flip Video Recording, here I am again. Now maybe I want to record my screen. We've recently added the screen recording. This works for all video, so the educator can select a screen to record so they can do a screen recording and attach it to the assignment. We'll cancel here. I'll close. The educator can also add a screen recording when they're grading. So if I'm in the speed grader as an educator and I want to make a video feedback recording, I can even record my screen. So if I want to show the student, hey, this is exactly what I mean. Maybe I'm sketching out a math solution. Maybe I'm sketching out other things. I can add a recording to the grading process. The fifth new feature is the ability to add text with the PDF editor. And this is both for students and assignments. It's very common for a student to want to add a PDF and then add text to that PDF for the assignment. So in this case, I'm going to open up a chemistry lab report. And as a student, I need to attach my lab report. Now let's say I go to attach and I'm going to upload a PDF from my device as a student. Here I've attached my lab report and this is blank. So what I want to do is open it up. Here's the PDF and I will click edit. Now we had the inking capabilities, but now you can see there's a little text to add text. So I want to go add text right here under hypothesis. I think the volcano will explode. I can make the text bigger. I can make it smaller. I can change the color. Maybe I like a nice, oh, magenta color. So it's really easy to just click and add text right on top of that PDF. And we've already had inking, but I'll just show that again as well. I can ink on the PDF like this. I can do highlighting. So we have all these great PDF options for students as well as educators. So educators can attach a PDF and mark it up. And when the educator is in the speed grader, they can also use these same editing and text PDF capabilities. When I'm done, I click Save Changes. OK, I will close. Now my lab report is done and marked up with text. The sixth new feature is a tips pane for educators inside of Teams assignments. So as an educator, a lot of times I may not know all the great new capabilities and features that we're rolling out. New learning accelerators, new reflect updates, new grading updates. Right here in the upper right, there's a little light bulb and you can see it has a red dot next to it. That means there are new tips. When I click this, the tips pane opened up and look at all these great tips. Rubrics with AI. Did you know that you can now create rubrics with AI in Teams? Assignment instructions with AI. Reading passages with AI. Speaker progress and coaching. That's rolled out. New learning accelerators. How to use letter grades. A ton of tips. And at the top, you can filter. If you just want tips, these are just the tips. Maybe I want training. Lots of links to training and all the different professional development we have available already. Then what's new? These are all the new features. Oh, so many new capabilities. This looks great. You can even filter and go like this, drop it down. So watch for that tips pane. When there's a red dot, there are new tips. And if you've never opened it up, click it and see what's new. The seventh new feature is the ability to add parents just via their email. In the past, you required school data sync. Now we've made it even easier. So if IT admins enable this, educators can add new parents for the students just via their mobile phone numbers. So my IT administrator has enabled the parents module here. So if you don't see it, make sure your parents are enabled. There's a link in the description. We'll click on parents. And here are the students in my class. We'll click on Ella Taylor. Now over on the right, you can say no parents data available for this student. And I will choose add new parent. I can add the parent name here, an email. Now the phone number, this is the new option. I'm going to add a quick phone number for john at contoso.com. Now note you need to add the country code, so plus one, and then the area code, in this case 206-555-1212. So I've added that phone number, and I will click Save. I can add another parent, so I can add both parents' phone numbers, so they'll both get an invite right here. Now what you have to do is click Send for Approval. So the IT administrator has to approve when you've added these parents via phone number, but assuming I've added all the parents and all set up, I will click Send for Approval. Now it's going to send a request to the IT administrator, then the IT administrator will ultimately approve these. Okay, request sent for approval successfully, and I can review the status inside the approvals app in Teams. I'm gonna close this. You could add the approvals app right over here under apps, and you can search for the approvals app, and then you can see exactly when it's being added. But what's nice is 
Now you can add parents without needing to rely on school data sync. So for those educators out there that are using Teams and they don't have school data sync, here's a way you can add parents. The eighth new feature is the ability for parents to sign into Teams without needing their email. So many parents might wanna add the Teams app on mobile. So they wanna keep up with the class on their mobile phone, a parent portal, so to speak. Now, as you can see in this image here, and there's a link in the description, parents only need a mobile phone number to sign into Teams. It used to be they would need specifically an account, like a Microsoft account or a consumer Microsoft account. Now they can sign into the app just with the phone number. So it makes it much easier for parents to get access to Teams via that phone number. Then they can keep track of their student status and get updates for the class and assignments right there on their phone with the Teams mobile app. There's a deeper dive video on how that works that I will point to on the upper right as well for those that wanna see the parent app in Teams. The ninth new feature is custom grading schemes available now for quizzes. Now I'm gonna to go to settings here and you have grade settings. We rolled this out about a year ago. I've added a A through F scheme that is different from the default points and I've set this is my new default. If you wanna manage your grading schemes, this is where you can add them right here and we have different videos that show how to do this but historically, this did not apply for quizzes. It was only assignments. Now it can work for quizzes. So I will click back, and I'm gonna to go to my drafts here, and I have a quiz that I created. Now this quiz is attached to the assignment, and over here, for points, you can see there are different grading schemes. Now I can set it for points versus A through F, so I wanna go A through F here, and I can manage my grading schemes directly right here. Now this quiz can be set automatically to a different grading scheme and we'll click out assign. Now the student's filling it out. We'll have that new option and the grading scheme will get automatically set with the quiz points and it'll convert it. The 10th new feature is also in quizzes and it is the ability to mark a specific student as excused on the quiz. Historically, this feature only worked for assignments and it didn't work for quizzes. So we've got Erin Collins here and she has not turned in her quiz. I'm gonna select Erin in the upper right, I'm gonna drop this down, and this is where we always have had mark as excused, but now this is a quiz, and I can say mark as excused and return. I'll click this, and we will confirm mark as excused. Great, now she has been removed from the assignment list. The 11th new feature is support for Teams assignments and learning accelerators with LTI integration with Canvas and Schoology. I'm gonna show what that might look like for learning accelerators if you're using Canvas. We've had a lot of requests for this. So I've already, as a teacher, integrated LTI into Canvas, and that is called the new Assignments and Learning Accelerators LTI. There's a link in the description to make sure your IT admin can set this up. But assuming I've set it up, I'm the educator, and I'm gonna choose a new Teams Assignments from Canvas. And I'm gonna create, and we'll choose Reading Progress. We'll give it a title, Reading Out Loud, you can see here, I'm gonna go next, just like I do in Reading Progress, and I will assign that out. And then, back in Canvas, I hit Refresh, and this shows up in my assignments list, and I can link it. So really easy to link and sync up from Teams into Canvas. Now we're gonna switch over to the student. The student has that assignment, they're gonna say Open in Teams, it launches it in the browser, they practice reading out loud, and they turn it in, and when they're done, they hit Refresh, and it syncs right into Canvas. So the student has turned that in. Now flipping back to the educator, they can grade it. They can grade any assignments, including learning accelerators. And when they finish grading that, again, it refreshes and passes it right back into Canvas. So in the Canvas gradebook, all those have mapped right in. This also works for Schoology and we're working on other learning management systems in the future to integrate learning accelerators and Teams assignments. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.